We were very clear about Bella right from the very beginning in the negotiations uh, going into the GNU on the statement of intent. The reality is, and as I set out at my recent speech at the press club, um, which I provide as recommended reading for anybody who wants to understand this particular issue, um, that of course in a government, the ANC needs to understand that they can't get everything that they want. And so to the DA understands it can't get everything that we want. But it can't be a situation where the DA's views and opinions are just not taken into consideration and are not, uh, are not accepted. Um, we would certainly not, if there was cabinet consensus on, for instance, you know, getting rid of the, uh, of the independence of the Reserve Bank, just simply sit in a government that does it because we believe it will crash the economy and will affect growth and jobs. We would not sit in an environment where clauses of the Constitution would be violated just because you know, other people sit around a table and agree on that. That doesn't mean we have to agree on it. And so any coalition, whether it's a small one or a large one like the one we currently have at a national level, uh, is absolutely predicated on finding consensus and a way forward. And I believe that there, is con uh, there are ways for us to find consensus in these particular issues. But there are issues which we were very clear about going into the negotiations for that particular issue that, that we said would be non-negotiables for us, uh, as, have the, as did the ANC. Um, and we've had to respect uh, those, and we've had to make compromises on those. But it can't be the smaller parties that have to make all the compromises, and the, the large party in the, in the coalition doesn't have to make any compromises. So there will be compromises on all sides. We're willing to make compromises in a number of key areas. We already have done so by going into the GNU. Um, and I think that the sooner we move to uh, that um, a model where there's an acceptance that you don't get everything you want and that you've got to give up on some things in order to make it work, I think that that, that will be better and healthier for us uh, in South Africa. Well, one of the things that I think has been important from this process is the establishment of the technical committee that seeks to be a clearing house within the government of national unity. And um, I'm made aware by my colleague, uh, Minister McPherson, um, that one of the, the further inaugural meeting of that technical committee will be taking place in the next week. And this is one of the issues that will be dealt with. The reason why this is important, and the reason why a technical committee in a complex, uh, co in a, in a, in a complex government of national unity, uh, a type of a coalition government like this is important, is because what we want to do is we want to be able to resolve issues that were red lines during the negotiations, issues that we do not agree with so that we can reach the kind of consensus we want at that level. The reality is that we are bringing together 10 different political parties who come from 10 different uh, ideological backgrounds. Uh, this was never going to simply be easy uh, unless we were one organization. No one party won an election and therefore, you know, one of the things that is going to be the the, the hallmark of this government of national unity is the ability to resolve conflict. And not all conflict is bad. Ultimately, we have to be able to be mature enough to have these difficult conversations so that we can arrive at a point where we're placing the interests of South Africans first. But I think it's, it would be a mess of us to think that somehow we are not going to be able to have these this, this, this disagreements. We will have disagreements. We have been in disagreement with the ANC about many things over the years.